Hi everyone, I'm Kirsty. If you're seeing this, it means I've had to split up my video for this to be in two parts because I said more funny on YouTube. Um, so yeah, this is the final two tracks of Ten's album, which I'm reacting to. Really enjoying it so far, so I'm excited to check out these last two tracks. Um, if you enjoy my reaction, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you'd like to leave a like or a comment, I would very much appreciate that. You can find my links down below, including my Twitch, where I stream, and my Patreon, where you can sign up to support me and receive early and exclusive access to my content. Oh no, are we in a baby making jam? Tell me I've been having this dream that won't last long when you're not even here. I used to go over me. Oh, I love that. The way that cut out on here. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like the vibes of a baby making jam in terms of like the music. But the lyrics are kind of more about like a toxic relationship. And trying to get away from someone. Interesting. God. Ken's voice throughout this whole album. He's so good. This is the SM vocal training. Like, they just take someone who's a good vocalist and make them an amazing vocalist. And I, oh. But it's also all Ten's hard work. Like, he works so hard. Oh my god, I love this bridge. That ad lib in the background. That's stunning. Wow. I love that. That was such an interesting vibe. Oh god, the bridge on that. The bridge was my favorite part. The bridge was so freaking good. Like, I feel like that song was really good at playing with silence. Um, and like pulling back a bit. You know, like I think a lot of music can go a bit like crazy with the instrumentals and like having a lot of sounds all at the same time. But I feel like that song was really interesting where it kind of pulled back sounds quite a lot and had more kind of quiet moments or silent moments that allowed Ten's vocals to really sh come through and shine. Um, God, he is just so good. I love him so much. I feel like... I'm just so proud of him and how, all the work he has put into this. He sounds amazing. Oh 
Oh my god, this is so One Direction. <laughs> oh my god. This is like four. Slash made in the AM in terms of like One Direction discography. And that's a good thing because I freaking love One Direction. this kind of arpeggio kind of moment with his vocals oh I love this but yeah I love the, the what his vocals are doing in that pre-chorus where it uh, it's like it goes like it kind of arpeggioed. Also, I haven't done music theory in like 15 years, so I'm probably using the wrong terms, but that's what I'm connecting it with. I love this. Okay. Oh, is this like a bittersweet breakup song? Like you can see the end coming, but you don't want to let go. Oh, I love that. I love it so much. Oh, I love this. I didn't expect a song like this on this album, but I love it. I love that. I love that so much. Oh my god. Okay. Mm, I love that so much. I really just really enjoyed that as a as a mini album. I feel like it was so just so ten. And I really liked that like it felt like every track was every track was different but also the kind of album was quite cohesive so you got to see like different sides of 10 but also it didn't feel like all over the place um which i really just loved um i think my favorite song is dangerous i really really loved that song um but lie with you was really cute as well like all of the songs are really good honestly um let me know your favorite i feel like a lot of people with like water and dangerous um but yeah i just oh i love that i love 10 it was so good and i'm so proud of him and i'm so happy this is finally out i just feel like his vocals shined so much throughout this he it, it i really hope this puts some respect on his name, you know? Like, he's done this. He did Mass Singer last weekend. So I really feel like people are finally going to see him for the great vocalist he is. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye!